Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Uh, let me first of all very uh, warmly uh, welcome you on behalf of the uh, Federal Government of Switzerland to this ninth annual General Assembly of the International Code of Conduct Association for Private uh, Security uh, Providers. As my colleague just said, um, you, you already had two, two days of, of meeting and today is uh, the last day. It's a kind of a public uh, and open uh, meeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the private uh, security business is actually a booming one. Everywhere in the world, the, dem the demand for private security services is increasing and it has been boosted uh, even more in the current international context, but also by the implementation of measures to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Private security companies are increasingly present in several aspects of our uh, work or daily life. More and more governments do mandate private security companies, for example, to protect their representations, their diplomatic representations abroad, or to manage uh, the implementation of their migration policies, such as, for example, border uh, security, or also the, the control of facilities uh, for uh, um, asylum seekers. And several governments also use security uh, companies to manage uh, detention centers. But whatever the context, it is of paramount importance that we, uh, as governments, that we do respect our obligations to protect human rights, as stated in the Montreux document. How can we make sure that we fully comply with our human rights obligations in our relations with private security companies. Hiring ICOCA uh, member companies certainly provide useful assurances to this end. NGOs and international organizations also use private security companies in their operations. They therefore also face risks and are li li liable to due diligence obligations related to the operation of these companies. To that regard, I would like to highlight the publication of the uh, ICOCAP uh, on private security contracting in the humanitarian sector that brings useful insights on how the humanitarian actors can best organize their security arrangements. But of course, the main users of security companies are the companies or the private enterprises themselves, and especially uh, multinational uh, companies to ensure the security of their activities and operations uh, worldwide. They are active in a large variety of sectors from uh, extractive companies to commodity trading, agriculture, food transformation or manufacture. And security companies are present throughout the whole production chains from production, extraction, all the way to transport, be it by land or by sea. For clients of private security services, using uh, the International uh, Code of Conduct certified providers can give significant advantages thanks to their capacity and commitment to the respect of human rights. The application of approved protocols in the management of security operations are easing relations of these companies with their workers, surrounding communities, as well as with their customers. As such, working with ICOCA certified companies provides clear competitive advantages. It helps to prevent tensions and it does contribute to a positive and peaceful climate conducive to business. Next year, we will be uh, celebrating or commemorating the 10th anniversary of the creation of the International Code of Conduct for Private Security Providers Association. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what have we achieved so far and what are the remaining challenges? The first achievement is certainly the International Code of Conduct Association itself. The, this mechanism that has allowed uh, to involve civil society organizations and the private uh, security companies in the practical implementation of the code. 
And the International Code of Conduct Association has also developed several tools based on a voluntary commitment of the security companies that have proved to be pragmatic and credible. Let's think of certification of companies, the assessment of performance and advice, as well as a grievance mechanism. And then the second achievement, certainly, is the number of companies that have actually joined uh, the association since its creation. 108 are uh, now members of the association, and 52 have achieved certification. This number, as well as the sectors they represent, is actually growing from year to year. This positive development is the result, the result of a strategic change in many institutions who are relying on the services of security companies. Like us, like my country, like Switzerland, many of you now do consider certification as a prerequisite to get mandates. We should all keep requiring private security companies to be members of the uh, association and encourage our partners to do the same. Over the last nine years, the ICOCA has also played an incremental role in the promotion of the Code of Conduct. I would like to mention, for example, the guidance on gender equality and uh, sexual violence. Thanks to the work of the Association, the Code is now also mentioned as a reference by several other organizations like the UN Global Compact, the UN Working Group on Business and Human Rights, or also like uh, the FIFA. Also, I would say as a Swiss, it's not a good day to talk about football today as uh, after our severe 1-6 to six defeat yesterday night against uh, Portugal. But anyway, we have today uh, is another day to think about something else. We have r currently running in, in Bern a, an election of, of two new ministers to the federal government. And as I said at the beginning, that's also probably the kind of, uh, of environment where uh, private security companies do, um, do, uh, do, do work and evolve in. So with this being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, again uh, seize this opportunity to, to warmly congratulate uh, the uh, association, the ICOCA, for all its achievements, uh, but also still call on all of us, you, us, governments, members of civil society, security companies, to continue this commitment to the promotion of these standards of excellence. And the private security sector really can make a decisive difference in advancing the global human rights uh, agenda. And my country, Switzerland, is... Uh, determined to continue uh, to, 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 to its engagement with, with all, all uh, involved stakeholders on uh, this path. And I do really hope that the General uh, Assembly will offer, or has already offered over the past uh, two days, uh, a good opportunity to define uh, uh, objectives uh, that are ambitious uh, uh, for, for, the, for the coming years. And with this being uh, said after these few remarks, uh, let me wish you today a very interesting last days. I see you have different uh, panels, and one is now, uh, I think the first one is precisely about uh, sports and, and, uh, and private security. So let me wish you a very fruitful day. Bonne journée. Merci beaucoup.